Uh, it's my understanding that the federal agencies do not have to take the project purpose at face value if they, and the Army Corps has said in the past that they considered the Woodland Road purpose to be deceptive. They called people out on that. And um, I don't understand why EPA did not consider the Army Corps' recommendation to look at existing roads as a viable alternative. Well, I wouldn't say that we didn't look at existing roads as a viable alternative. I think we did um, because of the way this particular um, uh, purpose and need was stated. We did agree that the, um, the 550 route didn't meet that purpose and need. Um, other than that, um, we haven't, haven't ruled out um, other, other alternatives that include other existing roads, such as the Sleepy Hollow 510. Yes, I have a question that I'm trying to understand uh, exactly what's happening here tonight. Uh, is it the facts that if these are not approved, that Kennecott can still haul down through Marquette and Ishpeming and Nagani? Is, is, if this fails, they have the right to do that, or they, they have That's the right. permit to do that. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Thank you. Sir? It, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and then just uh, one qu simple question, I think. I understand the point of trying to find the least amount of wetland impact, but within the parameters that you folks use to determine whether a road could go in, does the proposed 595 fall within those parameters, even if it might impact more than the other routes you might prefer? Does it fall within the parameters you would normally approve? Can I, can I ask a clarifying question? Do you, do you mean, does it meet the stated project purpose? If that's your question, then yes, it does. I, I think the question was um, regarding the wetland impact. This impacts more wetlands than other routes you're looking at, but would that normally still fall within the acceptable range as far as the that, EPA is concerned? That is why we're here tonight, to get information on that very question. Thank you. Did you want to ask? I'm here to say I support 595. My name is Gwen Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have a brief question. If um, after September 4, you maintain your objections to alternative green, can the project still go on since you're not the, the last, you don't have the last word? Can, can they go ahead and still build 595? Uh, with the EPA objection standing? No. 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 Not at, not at this point. If they got a permit from the Corps, then um, they would be able to. Yeah. I'm Lyme William Mackey, and I live on Wright Street. And if this 595 is not built, and you go on Wright Street, it's going to be insane. Uh, I lived there for 40 years. They had, uh, it was a four lane, it was a two lane road, and I moved there, then it was a four lane, four lane, then the new configuration has helped. But if they let this mine traffic go down Rice Street, that's residential area and beyond, it's insane in my books. I mean, holy, there'll, there'll be one truck after another. And the, the traffic is horrendous right now. Well, well, I'm asking, please, I hope they approve that. that it, the mileage alone, for them to truck all the way and go all the way around instead of across, it, it's just insane. It just doesn't make sense. We invite Thank you to make that comment. That we're going we're gonna to stick with questions for now. But okay. you can make Thank you very much. Comment.